So I made a video about uh, unboxing the device and now uh, just a quick, I guess, review of the product itself. I uh, printed something uh, recently, it was an object maybe like this, this big. And uh, the, the uh, object actually came out very well uh, done, like uh, I put it in uh, really like draft mode. So you could see the seams between the um, uh, on the actual object, but uh, it looked nice. Like I, would, I really was happy with the quality. Uh, unfortunately, and it's actually the printer is easy to use. I found uh, the calibration process is uh, fairly straightforward. So what happens is that when you're doing the auto cal calibration, uh, if the uh, if it's not well calibrated, like if it's not, I mean, uh, all leveled uh, well, then what's going to happen is that it's going to ask you to uh, take one of these. Uh, um, one of these plastic pieces here, unscrew them and just slightly turn them to either side and it's actually going to indicate by how much you should turn them. So you're going to see a full circle for example, like almost a half a circle going through. I made the mistake of actually turning it half a circle but it actually just shows you which way to turn it and then it's going to say for example like turn it one eighth of the way or one fourth or one uh, or just half the way, like half a resolution. Uh, so you should just follow that. So I calibrated it. I was able to print the uh, the stuff fairly easily. The quality was good, but uh, uh, yeah. So the worst thing that could have happened actually happened. What I thought is that when I started printing a much more complicated piece in a larger format and uh, highest resolution, uh, this was actually going to be like a full size item of about almost six inches in height. Uh, it showed me that the estimated time to print this, first of all, was going to be 48 uh, hours, actually. So 48 hours of printing non-stop, uh, which, like, is a lot, so I didn't expect it to be that long. But uh, the worst part is that during the process, um, it, it the printer is loud. So just to let you know, like, you cannot have this in your uh, bedroom and sleep while it's on. It's not happening. So I, at night time I had to actually shut it down, uh, even though it's in the next room. And then the next day I restarted the process uh, and uh, the filament... Uh, so this thing here got, uh, got jammed. So the little jet that's inside, it's, uh, it, it, it actually got jammed. I um, don't know if you can see it here. I'm trying to give you a view of what it looks like. Uh, no, we can't actually see it. It's on the other side. It's uh, kind of hidden away, tucked away. But yeah, it jumped. So the process stopped and it's very disappointing because it's like 48 hours of printing. The filament box is like the cartridge is full almost. Um, and that's a nice thing about this printer is that I was able to print several pieces and it actually didn't, it, like it seems like it didn't use too much plastic. But uh, what's really not nice, and I hope the company fixes this, is the fact that it just uh, jams. So I don't know what to do now. I have to order a new cartridge, I guess. And other people are complaining about it. So if anyone at Cubify is listening to this, hopefully someone is monitoring the social media. Uh, guys, you should get this fixed. This is like uh, ridiculous. So uh, first day I'm using this, I put it on pause. A lot of unhappy customers. I'm guessing you're going to send a replacement now addressing Cubify directly and uh, like uh, you got an unhappy customer and you're losing money shipping a different uh, new cartridge. So this is the third generation of the printer. Um, let's get this fixed. So yeah, apart from that, it's not, uh, it's a very pleasant experience. Uh, I like how it's set up, how it's made, the buttons, everything is very intuitive. Like the the leveling is very intuitive. The 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 fact that you got this uh, creation, creation maker in your house is, is amazing. You just put something in and just creates whatever your, whatever 3D model you have. It's really an amazing device I find, except for the cartridge. So that's my review.